Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, today I wanted to do something for a little bit of fun because um, today I recorded uh, the semi-final to Taz Wanted and there was a particularly frustrating segment so I just wanted to put to something in as much pain as I was. So, so I got an amiibo, a blank ami link amiibo, I registered it to Smash Bros uh, Ultimate and I decided to try and uh, do this thing which I like to call Hell Training Regiment, where I basically put it through hell. I had one level, I had, I had to go up against a team of level 9 AI, the maximum I could get, and it, uh, um, one of them was always going to be Link, um, just because uh, I, had, I was hoping it for him to like pick up something from the Link, level 9 Link. Um, and my hope here was, and you're currently seeing everything get sped up to about 16 times speed because this took about an hour and a half to record everything um, well not everything but well yeah pr actually pretty much everything if you add it all up together it's just over an hour and a half um, but just this bit training the amiibo was about an hour and 27 minutes or more or less um, and yeah uh, I you know basically had him had it in the most, you know, hostile, difficult conditions I could come up with. So you have items, final smash meters, smash balls, um, and uh, and that the other team can't hurt themselves. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it was a particularly brutal training regiment, um, and. Uh, it took a while, like I said, it took about an hour and a half, like, yeah, I mean, it probably takes more or less as the same amount of time just me uh, um, doing it myself, well, actually probably not because they smash him out a lot faster than I could, so yeah, it would, this would probably be the fastest way of training an amiibo, um, and uh, I really hoped this would work. Um, so yeah, you just have the amiibo getting the absolute life beaten out, beaten out of him, just again and again and again. And uh, the amiibo, I, I'll give you this: it did do some cool stuff. Like I saw it do, you know, snipe some. Other uh, some of the level nine AI with its uh, final smash, um, and uh, yeah, it did manage to get a few smashes. Like you can see here, oh well, it's gone, but you could see like some some of them have lost. I'd lost their stocks, um, and I said I'm all to six stock. So yeah, um, this did take a while and. This is just something I was doing for fun, just like, is this something I c that uh, can happen, you know, is a natural, legitimate training method. Um, because I am working on a video where I test out different uh, training methods and uh, um, seeing which one is the best. Now my idea was this, is that I never expected it from the start to work. I always just like expected it to um, perform not horribly but not the best. That, that was my ex expectations for this amiibo when it had all, you know, finished. Um, and if it turned out to be a, ex you know, extraordinary amiibo somehow then oh you can see like uh, popo in the background uh, anyway um i would have um if you know this amiibo became extraordinary then i would have uh, um made uh, you know inserted it into the amiibo training video and it, uh, it's just like if it doesn't work i've got a good little video to um, promote that the video that I'm working on, and if it does work, then it's going to be then it's the easiest way of training an amiibo, and it's going to um, 
help uh, with uh, the uh, video I've got on, uh, you know, being made. Um, but yeah, I think this is uh, um, pretty much the end of the training bit, and it just goes, and now the rest of the video is just uh, the final battle between um, my Link Amoeba that I trained personally and the Delis Amoeba. So, I'll let you guys watch that. Nah. So we have the two uh, links here. We have a time link that was uh, trained under the, um, what I like to call, the Hell Training Regiment, however. And then we have Shadow Link that was trained under my normal training regiment. Let's see who's better. I legitimately don't know. I don't expect Hero of Time to be better than Shadow Link, but hey ho, who knows? Maybe the uh, button get through hell and back uh, actually made it better than something like thin to go through hell and back. Okay, yeah, Shadow Link is taking an early lead. A uh, really, uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Hero of Time does not seem to be doing too well, I... If there's one thing Hero of Time does do well, it's jumping and trying to not get hit. But it's a little bit hard to not get hit when you're up against level 50. Amiibo, compared to level, uh, like, 7 level 9 AIs. Yes. Yeah, so what I think happened is, because Link, Hero of Time Link, never really had chance to be offensive and was already on the defensive until he got his final smash meter full, he just has no real combat experience, like, he has never really been able to use a sword, so he just has no idea what to do. So, this entire thing was... Pretty much a waste of how much? How long did it take me to record all that? One hour, twenty-seven minutes, thirty-seven seconds. Point one, uh, point two one. So yeah, that is a shame because it would have been easily been the easiest way to train up an amoeba, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, but I am actually working on a video about what is the best training method uh, for an amiibo. Like, what, you know, what is the best way to train up an amiibo. And I definitely think this is the, not the best, not the worst way, but definitely nowhere near the best way. Okay, actually, it might be the worst way. I mean. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He is le no voice crack. He is learning relatively quickly for an amiibo. He has uh, thrown a couple of bombs and had, uh, uh, attacked a few times, but. It's just not fast enough to keep up. Like, Shadow Link here is just beating into a bloody pulp. So there you have it, have it I guess. Um, the Hell Fire Training Regiment does not work for an amiibo. Yeah. The idea here was that, you know, they, to forge an amiibo in the toughest environments, like, um, you know, you in, like, fantasy, it's like, this sword was craft crafted from uh, the uh, metal of a dying star in a forge that was uh, uh, built in the, at the bottom of the biggest volcano, or something like that. You know, I wanted to go for that, like, kind of, um, 
idea by now. It just did not work at all. Okay. Uh, my computer seems to be making a lot of noise. It really does not like rendering um, that footage. <laughs> oh, poor little thing. Just wheeling away. Oh dear. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.